Hello, everyone. This is Paul with My Reseller Genie. And today I'm going to be talking about how to import your past Etsy data into My Reseller Genie. Uh, this is something that we've had a couple people ask about. We haven't done it until now because uh, we ourselves are not Etsy sellers. So it's been a little bit difficult to try and figure this one out. But uh, we've got an answer for you now. So if you're uh, first getting set up, you will you know, not have any, any sales info in here. And instead of manually entering all of your sales, you're probably going to want to upload them. So the question becomes with Etsy, what do you upload? Because there's a number of different reports and it's hard to get the numbers to add up the right way. Um, and so what I did is I looked up this you know, question, how to total um, your 1099K uh, on Etsy. Because really in terms of reporting your sales, this is kind of the gold standard. You want to have your sales number match up to a 1099K. Um, so what they, I mean, they tell you a little bit about, um, what that is. So it's your, your gross sales income from Etsy payments. Um, and I'm just going to scroll down here. There's a report that you can pull, which it gives you what you need to reconcile to a 1099K. So these are the steps to pull that report. Um, I'll link this article in the video description, but you're going to click shop manager settings, select options, download data, choose Etsy payments, sales, CSV type, download it. And then that'll be the report that you need. So let me open that report. Um, so this is what the report looks like the column that they say you need to total up is this gross amount column here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these gross amounts and put it into a My Reseller Genie upload file, basically. All right, so let's go over to My Reseller Genie. If we click Initial Imports and then go down to All Other Platforms, and do step two, upload sales report. And that downloads a CSV, which when we open it up, it just is a bunch of columns uh, with without any data. So we're gonna need to transfer the data from this Etsy report into my reseller genie. So we're gonna copy our whole gross amount column here and we're going to paste that into sale price. Let's go back to Etsy. They don't give us any item titles in this report. So I would say we should pull the order ID. Copy that in, paste it to item title. So if you need to look it up, um, you'll be able to. And just in case you're not familiar with this, uh, that's something Excel does when you have a really long number. If you expand the column, you'll see it's just, you know, it's just a long number. All right. So let's see, we're going to need a sale date, oops, that's the wrong report. We're gonna need a sale date, which for this, we're gonna take the funds available date. And we'll drop it in there. All right, and we're also gonna need to add a purchase date and a purchase price. This is just a requirement of my reseller genie, um, how our data model is set up. So if, if you're, um, 
an accrual inventory method user, it matters to get the purchase price and the purchase date accurate. Um, if you're cash base, you can just kind of put a placeholder in here. Um, this this cash inventory method, you can put a placeholder in here. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and if you are an accrual inventory method user, you probably already have your data somewhere else. Uh, so if you're watching this video, you might want to watch a different video. Um, there's one that talks about how to upload from your own spreadsheet, which just basically takes you through building the upload process. But you can do all of this from your own spreadsheet instead of pulling Etsy reports. So anyways, we have our purchase date and purchase price column. All right, and then the last piece is putting in the sale platform. So type in Etsy, copy that, and paste it all the way down. Okay, so I've got an item title, a purchase date, a purchase price, sale date, sale price, and sale platform, and that's it. So I'm going to save my file and click into my reseller genie, initial imports, all of the platforms, step two, upload sales, next. And I will select my file here and upload it. Okay, so we've got our fees in, or sorry, not our fees, we got our sales in. And now we need to record our returns or refunds. Now there's not a way to upload these in My Reseller Genie. So we're going to have to manually add them. And the way we can do that is if you go back to your Etsy direct checkout payments file and apply filters to the header column here, go over to the refund amount column and filter out zeros. So that'll leave you with just the refunds that have been processed. Now you'll notice there's these three columns here that say adjusted gross amount, um, adjusted fees, adjusted net. I wouldn't pay attention to this for these purposes um, because the refund amount is it's always the amount that was uh, refunded from the from the gross, um, but the refund amount doesn't have anything to do with the adjusted fees. So the, the fees will be taken into account when we when we add in the fees um, later in this video, um, and the adjusted gross amount just it doesn't really help us. So we're only going to be looking at this number over here, the refund amount. So what you can do is if you copy this order ID, and then you go into My Reseller Genie to your sales page, you can paste the item in here and it'll find that sale that it relates to. And so when you open the sale, you'll click Mark is returned. You'll set the return date. I think this one was January 2nd. And it's going to default to just pull the full sale price. You want to make sure in case it was a partial refund, make sure that this refund amount matches up with uh, what comes up. In this case, it does $12.99. For did you receive the item back? We're just going to mark no. And then we'll create the return. So you scroll down, you can see your returns in the return detail, and you'll just go through each one of the returns and follow that same process. Okay, so uh, next up, we need to get expenses added into My Reseller Genie. Ordinarily, we would like to attach expenses to sales for analytics purposes, so you could uh, kind of dig into how profitable each sale was. But with Etsy, this just 
is not possible from what I can see. So um, what I would recommend doing is using your monthly statements to get expense totals for the month and building an upload from those. So what does this mean? Well, if you click into expense detail, and then you click the bulk upload button and then click template, it will download a template for you. I'll open that up. All right, so the template just looks like uh, four, four columns with no data in it. So what I would do, I think this is the one I want. No, I want the other one. So then I would go to your monthly statements. And if you click these drop downs, you can see kind of the breakouts for what is included here. We've already taken care of sales and refunds. So just ignore this box, but then fees, marketing, shipping, um, we would want to add all of these. So I don't really think it makes sense to upload the detail for these charges because you're not uh, you're not attaching it to the sale for analytics purposes and um, and if you need the detail you can download it from Etsy um, if you want you can download the CSV with the detail of the fees and put it into the expense upload template but I'm not going to go through that right now because uh, I don't really think it's necessary. So you could, if you wanted to, you could break all these into separate general ledger accounts. Um, personally, I'm just going to do the totals because it's adding three numbers instead of like 10. So for fees, um, do listing slash transaction fees. For 12026. And since we're uploading this into the expense detail, um, give it a positive value. Because if you give it a negative value, it'll think that it's a credit to expense, which you don't want. And then I'm just going to assign the last day of the month that it applies to here. And put in Etsy, November, these. And we've got marketing, so I might put in a marketing general ledger account, 20203, same date, November 30th. Marketing. And then shipping fees, 20188, 11. 30. Okay, and then I would just do this with each month. Just go in, uh, pull the monthly statement, and extract the fees from there, populate it into the expense template. When you're done with that, save your expense template, and then go back into My Reseller Genie, Navigate to the expense detail, click bulk upload, next, click to upload a file, select our expense template, and upload it. Okay. Great. So then our expenses are in. Oh, <laughs> my date's wrong. Make sure you put the right date in. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So that's what I would do. That'll get your sales in. Um, and you'll have a detail of sales. 
uh, and the expenses, I would just add those in as a as a total from your monthly statements. I think that's probably going to be the fastest way to do it. As you move forward, you can either continue this or you could try and assign each transaction to the sale if you wanted the analytics to be more uh, granular for your Etsy shop. Um, but this is how you would get started with Etsy. So hope this helps. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, it may require some going back and forth because we don't sell on Etsy. So, you know, all of our knowledge is kind of secondhand from, uh, from customers. So bear with us if, you know, we need to ask more questions than usual. All right. See you next time.